mistaken, too. Yeah, I'm single. Okay, S -I -N -G -L -E, single. S-I-N-G-L-E, baby. Okay, listen, I like to hear. So, yeah, Miami is claiming to be done with Diddy for the last time. And since he is not planning on selling down anytime soon, she is moving on and is begging to have him counseled. After catching him out with other women, we all know how shocking this is. Because Miami said she will never leave her poppy. And when Diddy popped another baby on her, I really thought that was the last of him. But after her performance at the Rolling Loud, she tweeted, It's been a long week. I just want my man. And I'm not sharing my next ninja. Which brings us back to all the times Diddy did her wrong for other women. She continued to say she was drunk and wasn't meaning to say all that. When clearly, Diddy was the last man Carisha was attached to. So she made it seem like her fans wasn't really there for her and joked about deleting her social media account. When honestly, people were concerned about the status of her and Diddy and why now it's a issue with her leaving. But it gets crazy because days ago, she went live to say she will never get married because men are not faithful and it's like she'll be giving her life away. And just when we thought Miami wasn't leaving Diddy, she did an interview with JT on Billboard and spilled it all. So do you think she kept it or not? Nah? Because when she was asked, have her and JT did a double date yet? Miami didn't waste a single minute to say she was single. And it's been over a year since Miami and Diddy admitted to being in an open relationship. I'm single, you know? I'm single, but I'm dating. I'm just taking my time with life. All right. Mm -hmm. So what we is? We date. We dating. We go have dates. We friends. Okay. We go to exotic locations. <laughs> we have great times. Mm. When he appeared on her podcast, Carisha Please, she told him they go together real bad. After asking him if he was a cheater, his response was not no more. Are you a cheater? No, I used to be a cheater. I'm not a cheater no more. Used to be. I'm a, I'm a truth teller now. You're an honest man. Honest. I'm going to give it to you, honest. I ain't trying to be lying. So not only did things get cute for them, but they also got messy because Miami wasn't the type to sit around and date behind a room. She wanted her relationship with Diddy public, and the more public it got, the more exposed it got. Some even started calling their relationship a PR relationship, but that's another story. And then Miami started posting her support for Diddy in the middle of the moment when he wasn't really done grieving over his ex, Kim Porter, who passed away from pneumonia in 2018. And not only that, he wasn't done talking about Cassie who he dated for a while and broke it off after he hired her a personal trainer and thought she cheated on him. And he still wasn't ready to commit to Miami for the simple fact that he never really said they dated. Miami assumed they were dating and after his birthday, he screamed, ain't nobody loving him like she is. Ain't nobody loving me like this. And when she gifted him a iced out chain and a medallion to match, Diddy knew he had Miami in a chokehold. And right when she thought he cared, he dropped her allowance money, claiming she spent too much. Then they deleted each other on social media and broke up over the situation. But days after, Diddy gifted her flowers to come back. And do you think he changed? No. He still played dirty, and his ex Gina was all in on it because she made sure Miami knew she wasn't going anywhere. And after Diddy welcomed a new baby with Dana Train, a girl he met and had a one night stand with that wasn't supposed to get pregnant ended up pregnant by him during the time he was involved in this open relationship with Miami was a bit sour because Miami stuck around and even Gina called her out like when she beefing with you over a ninja the whole time he got somebody else pregnant and Miami response was Gina was in an even worse situation because Diddy Ben said she was stupid and even made her abort her baby but not only that people call Miami a side piece and Diddy has always chimed in to her defense since she is not his side piece but if diddy has had multiple run-ins with other women while still claiming to have miami as a option then having him counseled is best but what do you think